Here's a live look now from Kennedy Space Center, where NASA's SLS rocket stands on 39B, right out there on the pad like it did yesterday, riding out Nicole. Now, ahead of the storm's arrival, NASA made the decision to keep the massive moon rocket there on the launch pad, saying that it would be too risky to try to move it. In the latest update, Artemis mission crews say they did not see any serious damage on the rocket or its hardware. News 6 Morning anchor Crystal Moyer spoke to CBS News space expert Bill Harwood about the conditions the moon rocket faced. We we're seeing winds, you know, anywhere from 80 to up to 100 miles per hour. Now, obviously, yeah. this is higher up from the ground, but this rocket is over 300 feet tall. Uh, there were a few readings up at 100 miles an hour. At our CBS Bureau, which is four miles from Pad 39B, we saw some winds up to 97 miles an hour on our roof. So clearly there were some more extreme winds than they were expecting. I remember the, the rockets held to the pad by those four giant bolts at the base of each solid rocket booster, which are also very beefy structures. Uh, so no, there's no there's no chance the thing's going to fall over. That's, that's, that's not in the cards at all. Seeing this huge rocket out on the launch pad during, you know, a really intense tropical storm. Has this happened before? Well, I've been out here for nearly, well, almost 40 years. I can't remember um, a vehicle on well, the space shuttle would be the only other example for me. But I can't remember the shuttle being on the pad exposed to 100 mile an hour wind. Uh, now, the shuttle, of course, was a different situation because it had this rotating structure that would come up against the vehicle and could protect at least part of it. The SLS is almost totally exposed to the elements. Uh, so whatever is happening, they're, they're getting it full force. Moving into the next couple of days, will there be a lot of inspections and making sure that everything is a go ahead of uh, next week's potential launch? Or do you think that it might be pushed back even further? You know, the launch originally was planned for Monday. And when they rolled out, they said we have a day of contingency time in the schedule. So they had one day they could lose and still make Monday, they said. Okay, so the problem we've got now is the base shut down yesterday, so they lost yesterday. They're going to lose today, and they're going to lose at least part of tomorrow and probably into the weekend because they're going to have to now go back and make sure all of those umbilicals, all the power lines, data lines, all those connections to the rocket are all okay in the wake of the storm. Uh, they're going to have to power it up and do some electrical tests uh, just to verify that everything's still okay, and that's going to take time. Um, if they were going to launch on Wednesday, the 16th, as they hoped, they have to start the countdown early Monday morning. You know, if I was a betting man, I'd never bet on how these things come out. But if I was a betting man, I think Wednesday's going to be pretty tough to make.